Welcome to the 360 tutorial on how to make a set of, not really a set of, on how to make soft jaws. Take this blade profile right here and turn it and put it in my uh, vise in order to face mill the top of this off. Most of the steel you can't get that's exactly uh, 0.124. It's usually always a little bit bigger or sometimes it's a lot bigger depending on where you go to get this. So I need to face mill it off. I have a little dilemma. I wasn't sure whether I should face mill it off before I do everything to it or not. Let me get rid of a few of these bodies, the other bodies here, so I can show you what I'm talking about. I'll isolate the blade by right-clicking on it, going down to, oh, it is already isolated. Uh, better show it, blade. Click on the dot right there. That's just going to show the blade. And I had to use this line right here uh, as part of the sketch in order to... In order to get this curve up through here, that's actually in the construction. Maybe. Bear with me for a minute. Trying to figure something out. That's not right. Oh, I'll figure that out later, I guess. I was gone now. I don't know what the heck's going on with that. Oh, but there's the body. And it is isolated. I will have to get rid of all these other sketches. Just get the blade in the body. It should be an easier way to do this. Um, if there is, somebody can let me know. I really don't know yet. But there's the, there's the blade. Along with this body part right here. So there's my blade. So my dilemma was, do I face mill, every, do I face mill the piece of steel first, which usually comes... Uh, two and a half inches by whatever, eight, eleven, eighteen, whatever you can buy it in a length. So do I face mill it first, get everything down to point one two five, and then create my slot, create my pivot hole, and create uh I just have this hole here for my uh D ten ball stop. Um I'm not sure what to do. I went ahead and just I didn't have anything to face mill at the time. So I decided just to cut this out first. However, now the knife seems to be a little bit too thick in certain places and my spacers are not really correct in the back side of it. So my only option is to create a set of soft jobs for now and put this in it. And then I'll be able to, I should be good to go. So to start this out with, I'm going to get a lot of, there's a lot of stuff here to do this, which we'll go over each step of it later. I'm kind of bouncing around now. Um, but uh, up here to your component, your, your top, your parent, right click, new component, and new component down here. Click on it once. Sorry, click on it twice, but don't double click. You'll be able to rename it, so you can rename this um, Soft Jaws. And the Soft Jaws has its origins and everything on it too, also. Back up here. So what I want to do is I want to create soft jaws on the sketch, and I want to make it on the same plane. So, oops. So create sketch. I want to go on the same plane, which that is, which is going to be this one. So I'm going to create that here. I am going to sketch out a box because I know what my two point close enough. I know it is six inches. And hit six, tab over, I get you down to the next line. That's 1.5. And hit enter. There's done. So that's how wide that my stuff is. Oop, take it back. We need to adjust this one. It's not that wide, it's 5.8. So 0 0.065 wide. Hit enter. That's a little better. Not really. 0 0.625. 0 0.625. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another one on the same side of it because the soft jaws are created with two. Sketch. Rectangle. Two point. Uh, see, if you hover over that a little bit and you bring it over, creates a little line for you so you can get a rough idea of what you got to do. So here we go. And that's where it stops right there. So it's going to be six inches. So six. 
tab. 0.625. Enter. That's much better. I'm not sure what my spacing is going to have to be on this because when I measure my knife blade across, it's actually, you know, it's going to be quite a bit wider than, uh, than, you know, the two combined, 0.65, 0 0.65, 5 and 5 eighths. My knife blank is roughly 0.177. Actually, we can get an exact measurement of this if I go into my model, go into cam, if it allows me to do it. Find my knife blade. I'll minimize all these things. Nothing's gonna nothing's gonna look right on this yet because it changes every time you go in. Sometimes you gotta redo all these because nothing's showing. But if I go into blade, right click, edit, it's gonna bring up my setup both my setup. It's actually gonna tell me if I go to stock, it'll tell me <clears throat> what my what all my uh, dimensions are because I have no additional stock listed. Um, so right now the width is showing five. 0.0453 my depth 1.8 which is not that big a deal right now my height is 0.125 so there's that right there so my width depth is what I'm looking for depth 1.805 so I cancel out of this Go back in 1.805. Go back into model 1.805. Let's see what this is going to give me if I do a dimension. Hit D for dimension. Click on this and this. And what I say was 1.805. 1.805. Let's see what this is going to look like. Hit enter. That brought it in quite a bit. Now just to see what the spacer in between here is going to need to be. Over constrained. That's me now the dimension be over constrained, which is uh, you got two dimensions that constrain the same part. It's going to ask me if I want to be a driven one. And I do because I just want to keep curious on what it is. So if I change this dimension up here, this one will actually uh, update to whatever the distance happens to be between it, um, which is kind of handy in some instances. Very handy, actually. Um, so this right here is my soft jaw, and we are going to it's going to be half an inch in between that so I'll need a half inch spacer or what I can do is on the flip side of this on the back side I can drill holes in this and actually mount it right to my voice um, and then I won't need any spacers on the bottom to help me out but um, I wonder if I can do something or modify move alright so select So I think that's what I want to do there. Now I want to rotate it though. I don't know what degree that is. Slide it back over here a little bit. It's kind of hard to see. That might work right there. No, that's not going to work. My flipper tab is going to be brought out. I'm not wide enough. Which means I have to bring this into here. 1.805. There. And then actually give it enough meat on there and there. That's out just a little bit, but I cannot help that. Um, I think that's where I'm going to want that. So now what I need to do is do a little projection. So you need to go to sketch. Project and include. I'm going to project. Now I have to pick all the lines I want to project. I want to basically project this whole thing. I want to project that. That line. Come on. This arc. This. And it looks like everything is projected. So I'm going to click OK. Now we're good there. So I want to stop sketch. Hopefully, there might be some little issue here. All right, stop sketch. We'll see what happens. 
I need to turn the blade off. Don't want that anymore. Sometimes you gotta go in here and kick the bodies off. It annoys me. All right, so there's my projection. I'm on my soft jaws. I'm good to go. Got my sketches right here. And now I'm gonna hit extrude. E for extrude. See if I can set my bodies. Boom. Uh, boom. Pick on that one, and there I go. Now I want to drop this down. I know my, my I want my blade to be 0.124 when I get done. However, I know right now my blade is a little bit above that. However, when I'm using my surface or my uh, my face mill, I do not want to cut into the aluminum because it's aluminum will gum it up. The speeds aren't right, and it just ain't good for the for the the certain inserts I have in, because the inserts I have in will be made for steel. The steel I will be uh, face milling is uh, S90V, which is uh, the which is the steel I prefer to use all the time. I like the steel. So first, what I got to do now is I want to extrude that down. I know my stuff is inch and a half, so I'm going to go the distance it is 1.5, and I want to go the other way. I'm going to go down. Down 1.5, negative 1.5. That's the axis. So down, down, down. Click OK, and that should be it. Right there, not it. But that's showing everything. Oops, let's back it up track. I got a little oopsie. Now we're gonna extrude, and I want to extrude everything. So cover it all. I want to go 1.5. Perfect. I already knew that, so I click OK. And it's good. Now I have to turn my sketch back on so I can do this other part of it. I want to extrude again. But this time I want to pick this. I need to pick this. This. This, just for giggles. Uh oh. And this. For some reason right here, there's a line right there. You gotta go back in and fix that. See, it, it won't let me pick that uh, to extrude it down. It, it's picking the whole area. I don't need the whole area. I need what is in here to extrude. And there's the little problem right there. I didn't. There's one spot I missed on my projection, which was right there. So I hit cancel. I will go back to. Well, I can just do a, a quick trick on this one right here. Is uh, whoops. Right click my sketch, edit sketch. And I'm just going to do a line right here. And I believe, because I think it was a straight across there. I hope. Boom. Done. Stop sketch. Still should be good. Now extrude. And I'm picking this one. i got to pick that and get rid of that. i got to pick this and this. So sketch. Another line. From there to there. And this should work. Stop sketch. I uh, need to extrude. Gotta get rid of this section here though. I shouldn't have extruded that. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do two extrudes. I'm just gonna cut that out. Get rid of it. Cause we, yeah, we don't need that there. So now we're gonna do another extrude. Um, this already has my 1.5. This was already gone from the previous one I did. We're gonna get rid of that. Got all my SV90 stuff too. Ah oh, man, I gotta take that out too. Boom, boom, boom. So that's going to be gone. That there, that there, that there. That, 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 that. that. De -de 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 -de. And this. And don't forget this little slicer right here. It's not going to work. There, I believe I have everything that I need to do. And I'm going to actually go down with it. That gives me part of it. There it says cut. I want to go down point zero six two will get me halfway. I don't need to go zero six two though. I want to. I want to have just enough meat to hold on to that and leave half of it off. No point zero six two should work. Point zero six two five. That's sixteenth of an inch. Point zero six two five. And hit OK. I will turn off my sketch, and there we go.